Hello programmers, this is Petit Professor back with another tutorial. Well, this time it's the old Petit Computer. And as you can see, I got a capture card. It's a little sluggish, so just bear with me. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, custom sprites. And I have made a little program to show as an example. And you see how it's kind of, it lags just a little bit, but it's okay. I'll fix it, and it'll do for now. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go to Write Program, and I'm going to load my little program here. Okay, as you can see, I have a load SP1 Pokemon at the top, and I added this little false over here at the end to get rid of that annoying loading sound. I guess that's what like computers that use the first basic used to do is they used to just make an obnoxious noise whenever they loaded. And uh, so Smileboom thought that would just be great to put that noise in, but you pretty much want to get rid of that every time unless you just like to be annoyed. But uh, as you can see here, I've got load SP1. Let me switch my view real quick. I will show you what this SP1 means just in case you don't know. Okay, we're going to open up the character editor. And over down here you see this S, I guess that's a U or a V. But these are the sprite pages. These are the background pages, obviously. These are the sprite pages. And I put mine on SPU1. And you can see over there at the bottom, maybe. Uh, I, I can't really see from here uh, whether or not it's recording that. But at the very bottom, it says SPU1. And the reason why I chose this is because of the way that they number the sprites that, you, that SP set uses. Luckily, they get rid of all of this really complicated crap in uh, Smile Basic, but uh, I've, I've forgotten how how insane it was to work around most of this stuff. Like, a, a lot of these things, the way they did these things just didn't make sense. They weren't good for programming. It just wasn't easy for beginner programmers to understand. And that's how I got to be making tutorials. Anyways, let's see. Somewhere around here we have is this under sprite well I think it's just under sprites in general yeah okay so you got here SP1 starts at 64 and then goes all the way to 127 yeah and so in my program let me get back to that Well, I gotta load it all over again. That is another thing I forgot about. Oh, that is not the name of my program. Sorry guys, I just got off work, so I'm just trying to make do here. Okay, back to what I was saying. The SP set over here, you see it starts at 64, which is going to be the character walking around and what have you. And I'll show you I'll show you what, what my sprites look like and it will make a little bit more sense. Okay, and I, I generally, what I do, is for, for some reason, whenever I load this in the, in the sprite section, it makes it all screwed up. So I load it in the background section, and then just kind of copy it over. Well, it might not actually screw it up this time. I'll just try it. Okay, yeah, here we go. And as you can see, it uh, none of these numbers 
over here that you're seeing actually correspond to anything that you would see in SP set, unfortunately, that I, I never quite understood. But I believe this one right here is number 64 or wh whatever I was using in my SP set. But I think, I think you get the picture. If not, then just leave me a comment. I'll make another video. But yeah, uh, the next video I'm thinking about doing is just uh, making menus. I remember somebody leaving a comment about that. And just, just leave comments in general about what you'd like to learn. And I'll try to actually like script these things out. I was just in a hurry to show off my new capture card and uh, kind of put it out there that I'm still making videos. And that I'm making videos of the old petite computer. So just comment what you want to know.